<laughs> well, it's taking your pictures. Okay, so big shocker, I did mine over my practicum too. <laughs> and I my practicum is with building bridges, so we're gonna get a double dose. Um, so building bridges, like Amber said, um, is just a nonprofit organization where they help people who are um, struggling or that people who come from generational poverty, um, it helps them kind of get out of that or help them be self-sufficient. Kind of like the saying, I always like to use the saying that um, if you give a man a fish, you can only feed him for one day, but if you give him a fishing pole and teach him how to, fit, teach him how to fish, then um, you can feed him for a lifetime. And that's kind of what I like to think that Building Bridges does. Um, I was first in the class two semesters ago, so I've kind of been familiar with Building Bridges for a while now. And the first, you first get in there and you're like, what is this? Why are we, this is stupid, why am I in this? Yeah, I don't understand, yada yada. And, but you don't really understand until you get in, actually you go on Thursday nights and you like see the people and you hear their stories and, because there's a lot of stereotypes about people in poverty, that they're lazy, that they, they just want to live off the, the government, they're potheads or crackheads or this and that. But when you really get in and you see the people and you see how they're struggling and how they have well, they have good jobs. Like one of them, a guy works at Truity, one of them's a nurse. Like people you wouldn't think that are in poverty or struggling and they're in poverty. And you really connect with them when they tell you like their story and they tell you about their kids and their family and all that stuff. And you really um, just want to help them any way you can or you want to just be there for them. And Building Bridges is um, a different kind of it's a different kind of uh, nonprofit organization. Um, instead of people telling the people in poverty um, you know, or the people struggling, like, oh, this is what you have to do to get out, this is what you have to um, be like, this is what you have to say, they kind of really all work together. Um, and the people that are that are kind of you know the middle class people, the um, the allies, they really are just there to support and um, to just do anything they can for the people instead of you know looking down on them and telling them what to do. So, um, and then how this um, relates to me and my future, um, I didn't really understand it until we kind of like got into the depth of it and you learn that, that there's like a language and there's a culture um, of people in poverty and I really think that's going to help me because I come from middle class and so I wouldn't otherwise know that there's a language and there's a culture f uh, for people in generational poverty. So um, being, I guess, being a social worker, um, that's going to help me to connect with them in, on a way that I wouldn't have otherwise known to connect with them. Um, I'm going to know how to talk to them and how to um, interact with them. And I think build, being around people now in my practicum and seeing them and helping them is really um, just going to help me in my future when I work with other people of generational poverty. And that is all.